and friends, it's Tracy and Violet from Nova Scotia Living. We just came out for our morning walk. She's just having a pee, but we'll go for a little stroll. It's about quarter after four. And yeah, we're getting this Friday started early. It's not bright, but it's early, so that's good. But I just wanted to say good morning to you before the day got a Away from us. I don't know exactly what we're going to do today. But we'll do something. Violet, we're not going up there. That's not our property. She must... I can't, I can't see. There must be some animal up there. You're not going up there. Maybe a cat or a raccoon or, God forbid, a skunk. Oh, no. Anyways, I'll be back when we get back home. And, uh, yeah see what trouble we can get into today oh. all right friends I've been back it's quarter to six now my keys and Kara are down here the whole time for GD sakes uh, anyways I did um, a 20 minute kettlebell workout I had to take it easy I have like a crack on my finger I know it's kind of gross but it's real life see that if you, if I bend it too much it'll split open so I was holding it like this <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, yesterday I didn't do any exercises, I don't think, but I did a lot of up and down. It was garbage day yesterday. We had a ton of it. Did the grates and stuff. Last night, I did some more laundry, and I hung up a whack of towels. I don't think they'll be all dry yet, but I rotated the laundry this morning, and um, I want to get some more stuff done. Uh, I know yesterday I mentioned I wanted to do the top of the piano yesterday never got to it the bench in the kitchen yesterday never got to it another problem area is just a little one but it's one that I don't ever do it's around this downstairs computer it's right around this corner I haven't pulled that out and did under it and behind the guitar amp that's sitting right beside it I know there's stuff there so it's all these hidden things I'm getting downstairs almost all done Still haven't done my teacup cabinet. That's what I planned on doing this week, but I'll, already it's Friday. So I'm not going to do it this weekend because I don't want to bring out all my pretty pretties when all the kids are here. Well, maybe I could. I don't know. I don't know. But what would be left after all these little things? Well, the toy box over there. I want to declutter that. <clears throat> and then out in the porch... The steps that go down into my deep dark dirt basement there's a nice long shelf a hallway that it's on the side of the steps and we have shelves and they're jam-packed full of stuff some of the stuff I use some of the stuff I use a lot some of it I don't use very often some of it I never used that would be a big job, like the porch was a big job, like the laundry room was a big job. That would be a big job. But before I do that job, I need to do all these little jobs. And then I can start working upstairs. Oh, another thing. I'd like to maybe do the steps coming down, like, the steps coming downstairs from the second floor. So, anyways, that's what we're going to do today. It's Friday. Um, hmm. Yeah, so let me just collect my thoughts and figure out what we're going to do now. So I'm going to look into this. I know it's all full of toys. All full of toys. Now I'm not going to ouch, get rid of everything. But there's a lot of stuff here that is just not necessary. And if it's stuff they I want to keep, but they don't play with it, I need to make sure I keep that to a minimum. So, yeah.
right. Well, it wasn't as bad as I thought. That whole basket is a basket of blocks. These are toys I want to keep, but they never play with them. So I have to battle with myself. This is stuff I'm going to donate. And they're really cute toys, like a chainsaw and stuff, but they never play. They never play. There's some monster trucks I'll put over in the basket where they're just under the steps. I have a basket of dinky cars and trucks. So I'm going to vacuum this out. And then I have some wipes here. I'm going to wipe it out. And I'll figure out what I'm going to do next. Because some of this toys, I just, I'm thinking for future grandbabies, which is not what I should be doing. I'm trying to declutter. Don't hold on to stuff. I can always get more stuff. But some of them are old and I just like them. Like, come on. Hello. I don't care about the Spider-Man and stuff, but if Maze was to play with something, it would be something like that. Or his robot, which I think is really quite cool. It's a remote control one, shoots those little suction cup. Got a couple years ago. That's pretty cool. And that baby doll. I've had that baby doll since Medea was little. Medea's 26 now. Cute little baby doll. So, yeah. All right, friends. Well, there's the garbage bags, bag of toys. I put some of the toys out under the steps where that shelf is. And I have a bag. I just am not that strong yet to get rid of some of them. I am going to put them up in the attic, which I know is already a problem spot. But I'll deal with it when I come across it again, whether I have a proper tote for things like this or not, but I just, I can't. But I did get rid of more stuff than I kept, so that's a bonus. Um, I wiped this out. What I'm thinking I might do, instead of loading this up with stuff that nobody will touch, I'm going to put all my weight stuff and exercise stuff in there, and then I can get rid of this shelf. I'll keep the shelf. It's fold upable, foldable, but that way that stuff is out of sight, but I will use it. I will open this and I will get it done. Whereas anything else in there that seems to go in there never gets used. So I could put that box of boxing gloves, um, maybe that balancer, my yoga mat, and I'll open that every single day to get my stuff out. So the only thing I can't put in there is my barbell and my bench, but that's okay. And my dumbbells, but that already has its own stand. So I think that's what I'm going to do. All right, there we have it. Not that I really minded the shelf here, but it's just, I, if I don't need to take up space, I don't want to take up space. I'm enjoying the open space that I have. So I might put the shelf here again someday with something else on it. But as for right now, this easily folds up. I got this for mom uh, years ago for when she was in a home. She wanted a shelf that, and I bought it secondhand, like at a yard sale. But that lifts up, that lifts up, and then these sides fold in. So it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Nice one. Um, but this all fits in here like a glove. Perfect. Um, I didn't take the 10 pound things off my barbell because that's what my warm up weight is. And it's just, I don't want to have to do that every day, but yeah, I know it'll be out of sight, but it won't be out of my mind because this is what I'm trying to do. Anyways, I didn't try to put that. I wonder if that will fit. I just wonder, I don't know whether I'd put this in. Well, it's stuck there right now. Uh, the kids play on that balance board anyways. So anyways, yeah. And the little fit on, it's not going to be all wonky and yeah, I'll fold this up. So I'll bring you back and show you. Well, there you have it. I used those wipes and did the baseboard and down around the floor. It's just folded up right there. I'll deal with that later. <sighs> Violet thinks it's a good idea too. So that's good. Um, I can tell you this toy box is a whole heck of a lot heavier to move when I'm going to vacuum. <laughs> but, yeah, lid fits on perfect. We're good. We're good. 
I'll bring that upstairs when I go wake the kids up here shortly. I just use that butter knife to get some gunk off of the, right in the corner there. But yeah, I'm feeling good. That didn't take very long. And I'll put this out in the back of the van before the kids come downstairs. I might have to digest this for a little bit just to make sure I'm not sure about this. But at least it'll be out of the house. And I swear, they haven't touched that toy box. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I don't know how long. So, although they're nice toys, somebody else would get more use out of them. So, I shouldn't be greedy and keep stuff just for the sake of keeping. So, that's what I keep telling myself. But I will keep this stuff for now. All right, friends. We're going out to catch the bus. I just Okay, shut that door, Misha. Oh. Ooh, it's chilly. Violet, Violet. Okay, Devin. Violet. You little wiener. She's going to break that leash again. I know, she will. I'm going to come over here to the picnic table. Oh, I wonder if it's probably Dan. Listen to the birds singing. Yeah, I got my husband's big jacket on. It's chilly. Oh, for goodness sakes. Well, she's just running around. This is that Easter spray chalk. That's lasting a heck of a lot longer than I thought. Not caring for that bit. Oh, there. Misha, do you got the mask I gave you? Oh, yeah, you do. Do you have your mask, Zaya? Sorry. She is prancing. Prancing, dancing, prancing, dancing, fun, 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 fun. <laughs> it's like she's dancing. Yeah. <laughs> she's funny. She's funny. That's all right. That works. She runs away with it. She never gives it back. Yeah, she'll break it and come oh, back for more. Pizza. She'll be thirsty for more. I think I hear the bus coming. Grab the leash, Mish. Leash, Mish. Oh, never mind. Grab the leash, as I. <laughs> she's she's strong. Woo. Okay, thank you. All right, love ya. Have a good day at school. There's the school bus, the skis boost. Okay. There they go, Violet. Oh, there they go. I don't know if you can see them waving. There. All right, Violet. Let's go back indoors. We've got to get Mally up. I don't need to go to town, and I'm not sure if I'm going to or not, because it's Friday. But then I think it's the last day I'll be going into town, because it's the weekend. I don't know yet. We'll see. We'll see, but I'm glad I got that toy box done. That's something I've been procrastinating about since after Christmas so it's done and I won't drop that toy bag off today if I do go to town because I just like I say I want to digest it first before I do it's all a process a process I get my flip-flops off oh yeah the ground was like damp with dew it's cold it's the high of 14 today, low of 2. Right now it's 2 out, so it's at its coldest right now. But I'm going to bring up Mally's big white comforter I washed last night. It's dry and wake her up, so that's not sitting in my laundry room. There's stuff, I think the dryer stopped, stuffed in the dryer. I need to take out and fold too, but I'll do that after I wake Mally up. All right, I had to plug you guys in. My phone died, but I did fold all these clothes. They're pretty much all Marquises, except for a few pairs of socks. 
And yeah, he can bring this basket up when he comes down. And when I went to wake up Mally, I got a few straggle clothes, so I got a wash going too. So I'll deal with that basket later. All right, I just went up and gave Mally another wake up call. She asked if she can go on the bus today. I said yes, so that kind of made me decide not to bother going to town. So I'm gonna tackle this. Now, out there's all tidy, vacuumed. Oh, here is all vacuumed. Well, I didn't vacuum it today, but last evening. And it doesn't look too bad, does it? But it is. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. There's wires and wires and garbage and wires and garbage and pencils and a glue gun there. This is what I want to deal with. This is Messiah's tablet. The ammo box for Nerf guns and stuff. Misha's little visible ink thing. But this is the computer the kids will play on sometimes. And then we have it downstairs so we can kind of supervise too. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I want to get all of that out. Wipe it down. Pull the computer desk out so I can get, like, behind it and everything. Because I'm sure there's goodies back there that are not supposed to be there. So, yeah, we need to start working. Now I'm going to pull this out. I just wanted to try to vacuum up some of the stuff that I could see right off. Look, there's freaking gum stuck to this wood floor. I need to get it off, but I can't scratch. I don't want to scratch the floor up any more than it already is. But I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to wipe down the computer tower, the shelves, get all the wall, the baseboard, the plugs, and all that stuff. All that stuff, so... And this is an old computer tower that doesn't work anymore that should go to the recycling but you have that block because you think oh well stuff is still on there are they going to be able to see it if they fix it i don't know what are your thoughts on that i have a computer tower out in the back of the van right now to be dropped off i'm going to put this one out there too and just work my way through that to see so anyways yeah I'm going to, oh, I should clear, I'm not going to unhook the computer. I'm just going to try to work around it, lift it up and wipe under it, all that kind of stuff, just because I don't want to do all that. I can do it, but I don't want to do that, so... Nelly. Look at that mess. Cobwebs right in the corner, not where I would see them. Like I get the ones up here, but not, I don't know if you're picking that up. But yeah, garbage. It's all going in the garbage. I don't care what it is. Yeah, garbage.
all right, I picked up the garbage and I vacuumed. Now I'm gonna wipe the heck out of the floor, the baseboards, the walls, then I'll do the back of the desk and then I'll push it back and then do the outer side, upside of the desk and we should be good. Yeah, I hadn't done this and I don't know how long. It's terrible, terrible, but for the most part, that will be everything in these two rooms. I'm gonna finish the, I started this last night, just put some stuff away. Oh, and I hung a couple pictures of Mally's up, um, but I'll finish this, but I'll just show you. <sighs> I hung a couple pictures up here. That's one of her creations and another creation. And yeah, another creation and I still have these. This was Medea's when she was younger, she painted. I have a few of her paintings up in the attic too. She did that and she did this Freddie Mercury one. Medea did when she was young. But Mally, 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 I got a bunch of them. Anyways, I need to get back to this mess. Yeah, and there's cords. I know I'm not the only one. There's cords, you don't know what cords go to. I, you know, I know some, but then there's spares, or maybe they don't work, or whatever. I might just throw the whole lot. Ah, we'll see. But I'm gonna go get my microfiber cloth, my duster, my cleaners, and do back there. All right, Mally's ready to go catch the bus. I just got a basin of warm water and some Mr. Clean I'm gonna do the baseboards with. And I have some spray pine saw I'm gonna do the floor with. And I've got my duster here. I'm gonna do the wall and all the way up with. And my rubber gloves, but I'm gonna go out and see Mally off first. And uh, yeah, then we'll keep moving. <laughs> Violet, don't jump up on Mally, you'll get her sweater all dirty. She just loves it outside, on a nice day, that is. Oh. And the birds are singing. Run, 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 run. <laughs> it's not super muddy out, but the grass is wet, so... Oh. We'll come up here and wait for the Otomo boost. All right, love ya. Have a good day at school. There she goes. Her friend Rain is already on the bus, so that's nice. All right, back to work, sister. Right, so I wiped the um, computer screen. I used like a wet Mr. Clean cloth, rinsed or wringed out really well, and then I dried it with the dry one. Looks like I'm using all the same cloth. I'm not. I just have all my gray ones out. Um, these headphones do work. I did this there and on the side. Now I need to do the inner side, the keyboard tray, and this. So exciting 
Oh, you might find this a little funny. I had my computer tower sitting on How to Organize Just About Everything by Peter Walsh book. Yeah, it's a good book. <laughs> it's just my computer tower is little and I needed it up higher. And yeah. I'm sitting here and I don't feel like finishing it, but I'm going to finish it. But it just hit me like I don't feel like it. But yeah, these are the struggles when I try to do stuff. But I'm going to dig my boot boots in, lace up my straps, and keep on going. And I was just messaging with Manly. I'm sitting on that chair that we put at the desk. Almost done. Did the keyboard and everything. I just need to put stuff back. That stuff is that old tower and stuff that needs to go upstairs that the kids will have to take care of. I'll put it on the steps, and when they get home, they can bring it upstairs. But Mally, she was like, can you bring a painting into school? I'm thinking, oh, the one day I decide not to go in. I said, um, why? But I guess there's a painting contest, and today's the day they got to drop it off. So I can't not bring that in because she has such a passion for painting. I said, what painting is it? She was like, it's up in my room in the hall. It's a pink beach, so I don't know. She was like, just write my name on it and drop it off at the office. So we might be taking a trip to town anyways. I probably won't go to stores because I don't want to leave Violet in the van to freak out. But we'll just get out for a little drive. And I said, does it have to be dropped off this morning at a certain time? She said, no, just any time. So I'll finish the desk. I'd still like to go in and be back out before lunchtime. But yeah, it's important. It's important. Mally, you know, if she wants to take part in something, she doesn't want to take part in a whole lot of things. But she wants to take part in something like this, I'm going to support her 100%. So anyways, let's finish this desk. All right. So here I have that white box there. It's a Vonage box. Our telephone is a Vonage phone, like through the internet and, um, a spool of movies. Oh, if you can't see, I'll take a, I'll put my flash on and see. Um, a vlogging kit, which I've never even tried. My husband got it for me. Just like a rinky dink one has a little light and a microphone, but anyways, it's there. And two new charger cords down here. It's just my little old, um, computer tower. This looks like a jumbled mess still, but it's the cords. And that's why we put this guitar amp up there. So the cords aren't exposed for little fingers and stuff. I'm gonna put that back. I need to wipe the amp off and then put the chair back and we'll be done. We'll be done. Right, Violet? Right. And that's a garbage bag. Got quite a bit of garbage from behind here. Yes, we did. All right, it's 9.24 in the morning. It's still only early, but I'm thinking it's this one. I just took a picture of it, of Mally's picture I'm talking, um, and sent it to her. And I was like, is it this one? So I'll wait to hear from her, and then we'll spin in. But now I um, don't have enough for a dishwasher. i got some dirty dishes to put in the dishwasher. But, yeah, um... I think stuff in the washer needs to be switched over to the dryer. I don't know if I have any towels in there because I have so many towels out here. Ridiculousness. Let me turn you around. There. There. There's five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So not, that, not, not as many as I have had. There's that table I folded up yesterday. Only one chair I couldn't fold because I was going to end up breaking it because it's just weak metal and it's older than the hills. And it just didn't want to cooperate, so I left it. And there's that shelf this morning. So, yeah, it's getting a little cluttered again. But these racks I put up and I put down almost daily because I like to dry my towels. I need to get my clothesline hung up. It's, it's hanging there um, because the wood, there's still a wood pile out there. And they had to take the clothesline down for the truck to back the wood in and... Anyways, I need to get that up so I can just dry all my towels in one day. But out here is nice and neat. Out here is nice and neat. Just some straggle cords. I need to test those ones before I throw them out. 
If they're still good, I'll keep them, obviously. But if they don't, then they're going. Right, Violet? Right. All right. 9.31 and we're out the door. Going out the door. I already put Violet out in the van. Had to come back. I almost forgot the picture and that's what I was going to town for, for goodness sakes. Oh, shoot. I need to write her name on the back of it. I'll be back. And didn't this just happen yesterday? I put 20 bucks worth of gas in. Gas light's on again. Now the needle's not right down to E. Should be able to get to the Irving so I can get some air miles and I'll get double the points because it's Friday. Ah, well, it's me and my girl, my main girl. And uh, we're just being a couple of wild and crazy ladies. So let's head to Tam. We're gonna listen in, we're still listening to Decluttering to the Speed of Life. Um, I'm liking that book. It's a little different method than what I'm doing. I'm not following anybody's method. I just like to read. I have another book I wanna read, something minimalist life. But this lady, she, De declutters baby steps at a time which works for a lot of people and I understand and I've tried that before but I lose interest so like I did the porch or the cupboard or the computer desk I do it all try to do it all in one day if I can take everything out everything make a giant mess and then deal with it if you don't like it lump it kind of thing deal with it and you stumble lots of times but then you get it done in this book, it's more of, um, like, take little pockets of things and do little things. And I get that. I do. My mind, I just have a strange mind, I think, that I just, I can't work that way. I can't work slow. I need to work fast and dive in head first and get it done. It's just climbing up to that diving board to jump off is my struggle. But once I do it, I do it, and I do it till completion. So, anyways, that's what we're listening to. It's still motivating. It's still nice. Just, I talk to myself and talk to Violet. I'm like, oh yeah, well, if we did that, we'd have to keep on going. We can't just take it day by, you know, like do one, one thing, little thing. And anyways, I usually, I, I'm not being totally bananas. Like I'm not trying to tackle all of downstairs all at once. I can't do that. But, you know, anyways. That's what we're listening to. We're going to listen to on the way in. We're going to drop her thing off. We might spot, swing by Tim's and get a coffee for Dad and maybe myself. I don't really want one right now, but I might get one. Get her a plain donut because she, she loves Tim's too. So, And then we'll come home. So, yeah. All right. We got gas, Violet. We got gas. Oh, all right. Let's go to high school.
All right, we made it to the school. Get going. And I called because I wasn't sure if I'm allowed to go into the school. So she met me at the door, like the lady from the office. But of course, as soon as I open the door, Violet jumps out. So she had to come up to the school too. She just wanted to, I don't know, check out what I was doing. So she went, <laughs> she went right up to the school door. Anyways, we'll go. Uh, I don't feel like stopping to Tim's, but I will. Because you're such a good girl and you deserve a donut. All right, let's go. Oh, the big Tim Hortons, the one at the mall. It's not really a mall, but that's what we call it. Dollarama Shoppers Drug Mart, CIBC Bank, um, Public Works thing, and a NSCC, Nova Scotia Community College satellite place. Anyways, the big Tim Hortons. The lineup's ridiculous, so we're going to take our chances at the little Tim Hortons over beside the Superstore. But we're not going into the Superstore because you can't come into the Superstore with me. And, all right, thank you. Yeah, town's busy, but I'm not used to being in town this time of day. I'm always in here at the, just the beginning. I mean, it's only quarter after, oh, what time is it? My clock is off. 10.03. But, yeah. Yeah, too busy for me, too busy for me. But we'll get a donut and a coffee and finish listening to our book. We have less than an hour left of that one, so. All right, it's 10.33. I'm gonna have my coffee. And uh, yeah, just rest a minute, cause I got some stuff done. I uh, don't know if the dryer's done or not, but I'll get that after. It'll, it'll wait for me, yeah. So anyways, it's just nice. My rooms are looking a little more bare, which not in a bad way, you know there where that shelf was like it just it feels I mean these are big rooms anyways it's hard to really tell on videos but they're big rooms but um, yeah I like I like this feeling I like this feeling so all right friends well enough lollygagging it's oh, what time is it 1105 so I'm going to start working on supper. This is a fully cooked ham I bought earlier in the week. I'm going to slice it up and put it on a cookie sheet. You only have to warm this stuff up, but when we have ham, I don't like it when it's, not that it's slimy, but you know, like I like it a little bit browned, a little bit. So I'm going to put it on here. I'll take it out, rinse it, put it on there. And then we're going to put it on a big cookie sheet and stick it in the oven for a little bit. So it just dries out a little bit. You don't want it too dry, but you don't want it. I don't know. I can't explain it. And then I'm thinking I'm going to make some scalloped potatoes to go with it. So yeah, let me get it set up and I'll bring you back. All right. Well, let's get this show on the road. Right, Violet? My husband's out there watching the boob tube. <clears throat> so, just get a good sharp knife and I like to cut it good and thin. The kids like ham, like you don't have it all that often. But this one was only $12.25, it was like from Easter. A lot of people had turkey or ham around here for Easter. What did you guys have for Easter? I, growing up, that's always what we had. Um, and I just assumed everybody did, but I see some people have steak or ribs or whatever. So, there'll be a nice big bone in here. I'll probably put it in the freezer because when I make bone broth, I often, if I have a ham bone, I'll throw it in there too and simmer it for a few days. And it just adds a nice flavor, a bit more flavor than turkey, just the turkey bones. I don't care if these are overlapping some. I might have to do cook two cookie sheets. If I had canned pineapple, I never thought of that. Could have put some on this because the kids really like that, but not today. I have fruit cocktail, but. 
suppose that would work, but I won't bother. I don't know the proper way of cutting up a ham. I just cut around the bone. And I'll have time to do this and make scalloped potato before the kids get home because this is already cooked. cheese would be good with this too and when I make my scalloped potatoes I never make it the exact same every time I just you know how I do I throw stuff together but I'll make like a cheese roux I don't have any sour cream because I'd put sour cream in the scalloped potato too but I'm just gonna make a flour and milk and butter and cheese sauce and put it over the potatoes and that'll be it I'll do it in the oven for an hour or so at 350 till the potatoes are done. I like my cheese sauce good and thick with this though. I don't like runny potato, uh, scallop potatoes. Oh, Mally's messaging me. I'll get it in a minute. end up doing two cookie sheets because I'll be able to and then there'll be leftovers of this we can have ham sandwiches and whatever just to eat it straight up there's still a few sausages from yesterday if you see my video from yesterday I did a bunch of hot Italian sausages there's still some of those left so but I didn't want this sitting any longer. I mean, the package said it's good until June something, June 1st or whatever, because it's vacuum sealed and whatever. But yeah, I gotta, I gotta, gotta get another pan. So anyways, I'll fast paste this and uh, yeah, I'll be back. I wrapped up the bone and put it in my freezer, but I got two big old sheets of ham, enough for tonight and probably a little bit tomorrow. So I have the oven at 375. I'm going to put do one pan at a time. I have enough time to do that, and I'll put it in for like 20 minutes and see what it looks like.
surprise. Well, I peeled a bunch of potatoes. I didn't do the whole bag, but um, I rinsed them. Then I used my mandolin, which is super sharp. I hide it behind my microwave when I'm not using it because it'll slice your finger right off. Um, I use that, A, because it does it nice and super thin. B, I'm going to get a million steps doing it. Thinks I'm walking, but I'm not. And uh, C, just because I haven't used it in a while and it wanted to come out and play. Uh, so I rinsed these again just because... I, they've been manhandled. I'm going to fill this with cold water because I'm not making this right now. I just don't want these to oxidize or turn brown or whatever. And they'll be ready for when I make scallop potatoes. There is five minutes left of that first sheet of ham in the oven. And it is 11.42. So not too bad. All right, it's almost done. I just can't wait. But see, there's still, there's like quite a bit of juice in there. I'm going to dump the juice off, move that ham around, and put it back in. Yeah, I don't know if you could see that, but let me just move the pan. It's real hot. See all that? I'll probably put it back in, um, not for very long, maybe 10 minutes, and that'll be good enough. All right, wipe the table off. Just waiting for that pan to be done, and then I'll put the other pan back in. I am going to start the dishwasher, though. I think my husband's... No, he had that Tim Hortons coffee, so he doesn't have a coffee cup. Yeah, let's get the dishes going. All right, I finally rotated that laundry. I got one towel to hang up. There. See, it's not, like, dried out. It's still moist, but it's not water. Wet. It's moist, but it's not wet. If you picking up what I'm laying down. So I'm going to get the other one in um, and I'll put it in for, I don't know, 20, this was in 35 minutes altogether. So I'll put it in for 25 minutes and then I'll dump the liquid off and put it in for another 10. All right, guys, I'm about to take that second pan of ham out of the oven. I had a shower while that second pan, two birds, you know, I wanted to have a shower today. Might as well do it time myself and yeah had a shower looks like I'm wearing the exact same clothes because I am only they're a clean version because I have multiple sets of the same clothes I have three of these bad boys thanks to my friend Teresa so anyways I'll be back no sakes all right here's the two pans that's the second one my husband and I nibbled on this a little bit but I'm going to put them all together and that'll be done it's 103 so I'm going to start working on the scallop potato here in a sec spuds but yeah I need it picking this up slowly I did a block of cheese this is old cheddar old cheddar and this will take a while I'll have to keep stirring it because you don't want it to um, scorch this is garlic powder And some black pepper. Yeah, like I said, if I had sour cream, I'd add that, but I don't, so I won't. I'm going to use some Larry's. Oh, just hold on a second, guys. Good, get going. <laughs> I added some more milk. I haven't had the uh, Larry's yet. But it thickens up pretty fast. And I would add some mustard powder to this 
and I'm sure I have some, but I'm not going to look for some. So I'm going to add a squirt of mustard. Yes, I am. I find that really enhances a nice sharp cheddar, like cheese. Just a just, just a, just a little. And I'm going to put some cheese, some fromage in here. Doesn't seem like it's going to thicken up, but it will. It will. And i got to do it constantly. Oh, I have some frozen onions in here. And if I hadn't been thinking, I would have did those with the freaking ham. But, oh well. It's frozen diced onions is what I'm talking. So, yeah, I just dumped out that pot of the potatoes into a strainer again. So it gets all the water out. Like, I don't want to have wet potatoes mixed with this. Like, I like it nice and thick. Like, thick. And I should uh, preheat the oven, 350. And I think I'm gonna make this in Linda. My pan, Linda, my friend Linda sent me. I could use one of those disposable, or reusable disposable aluminum pans, but I think I'm gonna, I think it should fit in there. Boy, I'm getting the steps today, aren't I? This is my stepping hand. They call me the hot stepper. Murderer. You know what I'm talking about when I say that? The lyrical gangster. All right. I want to save some for the top. This is a rich dish rich dish. This is pretty much what I do for mac and cheese too. I make like a roux and then I have extra shredded cheese to mix into the pasta. I don't know. I think I'm going to need more. I always do that. I always make more than I need but I'm not very good at guessing. I don't know. That's what happens when you make your own recipe sir. Don't follow a recipe. But. Anyways, this fell out of my cupboard, parsley, when my husband, I had to stop him because he's outside barbecuing steak now. Um, this fell out. So might as well put parsley. It's almost like it wanted to come out and dance today because it fell out of the freaking cupboard. I don't find parsley has much flavor. I don't know. Maybe it's just the parsley that we have. It's just more for garnish. Is that true? Does parsley have flavor? I don't find it has flavor. Now, I'm going to take this off the heat. Ooh, that's hot. I should have got Linda ready. That's what I should have did. Actually, I should taste this. It's not keto, but I'll just taste it. A little dab will do. But you can see, it coats the spoon, and that's what you want. That's good, it's good. Needs a little more salt though. Good, good. All right, let me get Linda out. She's over there smiling at me. I'm gonna spray her with some spray, whether that makes a difference or not. In my mind it does. This, of course, is not keto friendly. Potatoes, that is. And I honestly can't recall the last time I made scalloped potato. Okay. Now. Now we're cooking with oil. These look so nice though, don't they? Mm. Make your own potato chips with the mandolin. 
I need to get a glove on. I can't touch raw potatoes. It makes my hands so itchy. Like, uncontrollably peel my skin off with a carrot peeler. Itchy. If you needed that visual. Did you need it, Violet? She's looking at me sideways. Maybe Linda will be too, won't be big enough. I don't know. I don't know. I don't do it all uniform either. But I should just mix it all in a big bowl and dump it in here. I've done that before too. That works. Oh, Lord. All right. And I should get a scoop, but I'm not gonna. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm gonna dirty up my stove top. Where is it? Well, I'll just get a new one. And I'm going to bake this probably for an hour. Just stick it in, keep my eye on it. And when the potatoes are soft, there's a nice brown coating on top. If it's not brown, I'll put the broiler on for a couple minutes. It'll be all good. Nice and bubbly and delicious. This. Oh Lord, this is going to be a, oh, it's going to be a full one now. I've got to be careful of this hand. I see some down there, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to. I should probably put this on a baking sheet because it might bubble over. It might. I could have did this in a turkey roaster, actually. And I am going to scoop this because I think it would slide off all over the place. Ooh, Nelly. I haven't had scalloped potato in a long time. Sometimes I parboil the potatoes too. Depends on depends on my mood. Don't cook them till they're done, but or use full round potatoes and cut them up when they're cooked and make a five minute scalloped potato. You just need to warm it up with a cream sauce over it. I just want to do this slow, so. All comes out in the wash. So another thing I wanted to do, besides the stuff I did today, I wanted to do that bench, which shouldn't be hard at all. I'm not really getting rid of much on there. There's a that Brita water filter thing that I was gonna wash that was in the laundry room. It's been sitting there ever since wash and donate and I have Brita filters to go with it. I just don't have room for it in my fridge. So I need to do that. <clears throat> I want to get all this, all of this, all of y'all sauce up in here. I will wipe my stove top off. Just move it around a bit. Just tap, tap, tappy. I said something to my husband. He was here doing something at the table. I said, oh great, now I have a flat tire. I was like, do you know what that's from? He's like, no. And do you guys know the movie Cry Baby? 
Eat that style. I used to have a major crush on Johnny Depp in that movie. And, uh, you know, hatchet face and all that stuff. Anyways, I could, I could do that movie word for word if I'm sitting down watching it. Honestly, I could. Tracy Lord's in it. Uh, anyways, there's a scene in that movie where Crybaby's in court and a man is rolled in in an iron lung, I think smoking a cigarette, and the tire pops on the iron lung. And it says, and now I got a flat tire. Anyways, popped into my head today. There's a little bit of that sauce left. I just can't, I just can't. But that looks good. Anyways, let me know if you've seen Crybaby. I love John Waters movies. Some of them are really whackers, crackers, but Hairspray is another good one. I'm talking to Ricky Lake Hairspray. The new, newer remake ones are okay too, but I'm talking Ricky Lake's Hairspray. Divine is in it. Divine is in like Crybaby, and Divine is in Pink Flamingos, and which is a morbid movie. Oh, what's another one? Girl Trouble or Female Trouble. There's other ones. There's other ones. John Waters. I'm a fan. Of some movies. I don't know a whole lot about them, so maybe I shouldn't. But, yeah. What I do know and the stuff that he does that I've seen, I like it. Even if it's a little on the morbid side. But, what you gonna do? Yeah, I am putting a freaking baking sheet under this. Because this just might overflow. I'm asking for it. Tracy, you're just doing this to yourself. You know you're going to... I'm going to put parchment paper on the baking sheet. So if it does overflow, it'll land on the parchment paper. I'll use that other ham pan with the parchment paper on it. So we're using my parchment paper. That would be good. I'll get you off so you can get a better look at this. And cross your fingers and toes and eyes and legs and whatever that this works. All right, it's right up to the brim. <laughs> I like to live dangerously. But yeah, there's still a little sauce there, but that's all I can uh, that's all I can get in that pan. So it's done preheating, 350. I'm going to put it in and keep an eye on it. Oh, and FYI, Ricky Lake is in Crybaby as well. So, big fan. Big fan. All right, now I'm going to unload the dishwasher. I'm just cleaning up the kitchen. I keep thinking of that movie and different quotes that used to stick out to me. One was... Sometimes sugar bowl ladies get cut. There's one, and then the mother of the main girl, or the, yeah, mother, talking about the drapes and how the girls would wear pants or slacks. Hysterectomy pants, I call them. Hysterectomy pants. Anyways, just, it's, if you haven't seen it, Kind of cornball-y, but it's still very good, in my opinion. All right, that's enough jibber-jabber about that. The good old days. I don't make movies like that anymore. All right, I'm about to wipe the table off. That's just the ham. i got to wrap it up or do something with it. But I have a bunch of empty jars up here clean. I'm going to bring down to the basement and bring up a jar of home canned peas because I want something green to go along with this. I do have some greens left over but not a whole lot so I'll do up a jar of peas they can have scallop potato ham peas and some greens if they want I don't really have anything for dessert but that's okay we'll see I did buy chips yesterday so they could have some chips if they want or later on this evening but yeah I'm gonna go get a jar of peas yeah all of these jars were sitting on my countertop clean just sitting there taking up space but now they're gonna go down in the basement all right, 
I need to wash the jar off. I can this February of last year. So, yeah, I'll just do that in the microwave real quick when it's time to eat. All right, it's only been in like 10 minutes. Look at it. <laughs> Keep your fingers crossed, guys. All right, it's been in there an hour. I think they're done. I'm gonna put the broiler on just for two minutes just to see if it browns up a bit. But yeah, it didn't overflow too bad. A little bit, but not too bad. Deja vu much? Hey guys, that was in there for like two minutes and it was browning around the edge. This is good enough. I'm gonna let this sit for at least a half hour, 45, because it's scalding hot. And um, I shut the oven off. So, yeah, it's only 242 anyways. But, yeah, this will thicken up even a little more as it cools because that looks kind of runny right there, but it will thicken up. And the kids got, yeah, the kids got home while I was dealing with this, so I didn't get a chance to go out and meet them off the bus. But they're home. Misha already snatched a piece of ham and ran off. I said, it's for supper. Get out of here. But, no. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. As I took Violet out for a pee. Say hi, Zai. Hi. Happy Friday. This is what is it? A chicken tender? Mm. Yeah. It doesn't smell bad. Don't take a bite of it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it doesn't smell bad like the other cheese, no. but like, I'm assuming it would be. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, Medea's coming over here after work too. So I said I'd save her some ham and scallop potato. I just put some ham in the container and put it in the fridge so there'll be some. For. What's that? What? Scallop potato. Cheesy potatoes, pretty much. So, anyways, I'll be back. Ooh, I'm getting sleepy. It's a quarter to four. Mally's bus just pulled up, so she'll be walking through the door any second now. We're going to check that scallop potato. I'm going to pop the top of these peas so we can heat that up to go with this. And guys I just put some of that ham on a plate to warm up in the microwave because it's not really all that warm now and we're gonna try this the peas are in the microwave now and then we'll put the ham in oh, please be okay cheesy gooey gooey potatoes I even use my mandolin, Mally. Wow. There's one. This is what Dale wants. Oh. And then this is what I want. Yeah. Can you take the peas out and put the ham in mm -hmm. for like a minute? Got it. it. Still looks like a sloppy mess, but. Smells good. Smells good. Misha's been dipping into this, so I don't know if she'll want any on her plate. I'll get those peas. I tried to give a little piece of ham when I cut it up to Violet, but she didn't want it, so not a very big piece, just like a little tiny piece. She wasn't interested, so no ham for you. Oh, Mazai doesn't want very many peas. I'm just getting your plate now. I'm just waiting on the ham. She must be. So you only want a little piece, Saya, of ham? I guess. Well, that's what you told me. Is that what you want? Yeah. Because I don't really want any peas. Well, I'll just give you a little bit. You got, you gotta, you gotta have a little something green. Mm. All right, I'll get you off because I need to get a picture of something. All right, friends. Well, I'm about to go up and uh, edit this vlog, so I'm gonna end it. Oh, got a piece of ham stuck in my teeth.
But thanks for hanging out with me today. I know it's a long one. Yak attack. I need a floss. Um, yeah, we got a few things done. Still didn't do the top of the panel or the bench. Maybe tomorrow. Third day's the charm. Maybe. We'll see. But I still feel good. Still feel good. How's the scallop potato? Oh, good. Yeah, anyways, the kids had supper, seemed to like it, so that's good. Uh, there's enough for Madea and Cody and Abby when they come, which is good. Um, so anyways, I want to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose, but if not, that's okay too. I still love ya. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do, so. Okay, guys, well, that's it for uh, Friday. So with that, I'll say have a good night or have a good morning, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Boink.